Welcome back to Hayes Outdoors and Tractors. Sorry for the mess. I'm, I'm wearing all my old stuff today. We were taking some scrap into the scrap yard uh, that we had laying around that we wanted to get cleaned up. So, as you can see behind me, we got the RK loaded up. Uh, we're getting ready to clean up some stuff around here. Uh, get ready to uh, for the tiller. Uh, they're calling for rain pretty much all next week. So, I think what we're going to do is on our last video, we had uh, we put the tiller on, got it semi-adjusted. So probably what we're going to do uh, on this video, we're just going to be cleaning up and getting the ground ready um, for tilling. Uh, we're not going to till today. Uh, I still have to cut the drive shaft, uh, the PTO shaft for the tractor, and get that all set up, get it greased, get grease in it. So what we're going to do today is just more or less get the plastic up, get everything ready to go. Uh, I'm going to be using the grapple. Uh, we had a bunch uh, of tires that I sit on top of the plastic until the plants grow up through uh, to keep the wind from uh, taking the plastic. So we're going to move some of them around and uh, you'll get some shots of the tiller, see how it fits onto the uh, RK24 um, and uh, just see how it, how it handles it with the weight and everything. There is some weight back there for sure. Um, I want to say it's right around 600 pounds for the tiller. So that's good because when I was unloading the tiller, we had the heavy hitch on which is only 100 pounds and I can tell you right now when we when I chained the tiller to lift it off the truck uh, it wanted to raise the rear end of the tractor up clear up off the ground because there's no weight really on the back of these 24s they don't come loaded uh, with uh, beet juice or anything in the tires um, which I think I'm going to do um, to give me a little bit of weight so anyways the tiller did weight it down it's real good I feel comfortable with that weight on the back with the with the grapple so we're gonna get started, and uh, I'm just gonna let the let the camera run, and uh, we'll see what we get done today.
right, so now we got the, the tires out of here. We got this straightened up and ready to be tilling. I planted potatoes last year down a row right here. And we dug some out and did eat them. They were really good. This is a smaller one. But from here down, I don't think I really ever picked the potatoes. So I'm going to take the root grapple, and I'm just going to uh, root some of this stuff up and see if we can find any more potatoes. This potato looks fine. It looks actually really good. So uh, I'm just interested to see what did grow, how big they got, uh, because we're going to put two rows of potatoes in this year now that we got that uh, heavy hitch better cedar, uh, better hiller. So uh, we're going to, you'll see me just rooting. That's exactly what I'm doing. So either the animals got it or uh, I'm not a very good farmer, which I'm leading towards the latter. But as you can see on this potato here, this is a small one. There's a bunch of gnaw marks out of it. Looks like maybe moles or mice or something, rabbits. So I'm wondering if the deer didn't get into it. There was a lot of prints in here. They may have ate some of them too. But uh, these gnaw marks, are, they're actually a little old. So, oh well try it again next year. See ya in a bit. So, uh, <clears throat> I know this looks like just a bunch of weeds, but believe it or not, there's uh, blackberries, uh, black raspberries, yellow raspberries, and blueberries in this row right here of all the, well, we call them jaggers, but um, thorn bushes, whatever you want to call them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the granite grapple, as you can see on this side here, I already ran it. I just drop it, put it in float, and back drag it, just ripping all of these uh, these old like little bushes that come up last year. And I'm going to try to get in here and get this as weeded as I can, and then we're going to try to put uh, some uh, trellises up so they grow up and they're not surrounded. I see right now, though, I've got a groundhog hole right here, and it's fresh, so we're going to have to deal with him. So... Uh, we're gonna clean up a little bit. I'm gonna drop the grapple put the bucket on we got a bunch of rocks over here We got to get out of here. So we're gonna load that up and uh, get this all cleaned up and Hopefully by next weekend. We'll be able to till if we can if we can get the rain to stop 
Um, it's supposed to start tonight, rain most of the day tomorrow, stop tomorrow night, and then rain for the next four days. So, not the ideal for uh, planning, but it's ideal for letting us at least get everything ready so when the weather does turn uh, a little bit better that we can uh, hit the garden pretty hard, get it, uh, get it all tilled up and get it done. Um, my goal for this year is to get uh, some corn in early, early. Um, I usually put mine in first, second week of May. Um, so I'm hoping this year, I'm going to try, I'm trying for the second week of April, the end of the second week of April, uh, and then I'm going to cover it with plastic, at least two rows. And my goal is to have sweet corn for the 4th of July, the beginning of July. So if I put some 70, 70 day corn in 75 day, we should be right around that time. So we're going to try that and uh, see how it goes this year.